Chunky boy. <laughs> what are you two doing? Thank you so much. Oh gosh, we're live already. Good morning. Um, if you can hear rustling, it's Jane rummaging in her undergarments. That doesn't sound... What a way to start a show. <laughs> Jane's <laughs> rummaging in her undergarments. Uh, you're a bit looped, my love. You might go, yeah, go and have a quick look with your, your mic's all looped up around your okay. necklace. I might buzz We're organised here, as you can tell, this morning. Uh, <laughs> it's always a good rummage if you've got a dress on, trying to get mics and things on. How are you? Did you have a good evening? Oh, we had a big Indian. It was delicious. But you know when you're still full the next day and yet still manage to eat one of those. Um, it, was, it was so good. It was so good. We basically kept celebrating Jane's birthday after she'd gone home. That's what that happened. That's how that. That's how that one happened, um, which is very nice. Uh, who do we have with us this morning? Elizabeth. Good morning. You are an early bird today. Uh, and oh, just Elizabeth. Just one. Oh no, 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 no. Hillary and Heather. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, and Rebecca, good morning, good morning. We have got a big pile of half meter heavens and some things that are a little bit different, as you can see. Ooh. Um, what else have we got? Oh, good morning, Jean. Good morning, Claire. Um, I made a mask to match my new dress. Fab, did you do it out of the waistbands? I thought that um, all the waistbands were a lovely color with it, but I really liked it when it sat just a little bit higher. Did you see Claire's dress? Yes. It's and beautiful. I really liked it with the waistband, just yeah. that little bit higher. It just sat really nicely. Um, uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, good morning, Mary. Good morning, Ali G. She's good morning, Stitchy Witchy and team. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Good morning, Jan. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Heather. Good morning, Moira. Good morning, Susie. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning, Steph. Uh, it's sunny in London. Good morning, Karen. Good morning. Um, are you all well? Is there any cake left? I'm not gonna lie, we tried our best. Yeah, we were saving some for today, weren't we? After the show. There's about half a cake left. It was a big old cake. It was a big cake. It was a big old cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did send Lindsay. It, Lindsay did well um, and ate. She managed to eat quite a lot. <laughs> She's generally our, our cake eater. Morning, Lisa. If you're wondering who Lindsay is, um, Emily's nanny. Nanny, baby. She said I can't call her a baby. So she doesn't do like nanny hours. She only does a few hours a week just to help us out. But, she's um, a childminder, isn't she? Yeah, she says I can't call her a babysitter um, because she's not 16. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> okay. Um, but anyway, she likes a bit of cake. <laughs> Heck, when we came off air, Emily said, Lindsay will eat all the cake. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, mm, she'll have to fight us for it. Uh, morning, Agnes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Kate. Good morning, Pam. Good morning, Margaret. Happy unbirthday to you. Um, well, yes. Yeah. Happy unbirthday now. Do you know what? It would really help if I actually put my glasses on and I could read what I'm looking at. Morning, Joan. Morning, Tracy. Good morning, Grace. Good morning, Jane. Good morning um, to Heather and Tracy and Elizabeth. Are you wearing your necklace, Jane? I am. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Um, I don't think I'll ever take it off. Aww. <laughs> you won't be like under a spell if you do. Oh, don't, no. don't worry. Um, <laughs> My, my next question is, oh yeah, so Alison says, has the Liberty been loaded yet? Yes. Yes. It's under today's collection. Could you just chuck me the thing we did yesterday? I still haven't pressed it. Now I had a question from Anne. Hi Anne. And she said, but where's the cushion kit for this? It w we didn't do a cushion kit for this, uh, but I have sent you the link for the pattern. It's a Tilda's World pattern. Um, these are the New Liberty fabric. Well, they're just some of them. There are 45 different fabrics from the New Liberty collection, and they have been loaded. It was a mammoth task, partly why I loaded the team with, you know, curry uh, and stuff. But, yeah, that was... You can see, can't you, where I have... You know when you just... <coughs> You don't actually realise what a difference <coughs> pressing actually makes. And then you realise that from there onwards, I haven't pressed it. It makes such a difference, it does, doesn't it's it? Amazing, you just don't realise. Yeah. Um, but that's... I don't suppose that would go up there, would it? Probably would. Do you think? Well, you could just pin it in front of the other one. Oh, oh, oh. 
Steady, steady. Oh, look at that. I'm not going to guarantee that that's going to stay up or anything. But we'll give it a go. Anyway, there we are. Um, do you want to sellotape it up there, Jamie? There's a bit of sellotape there. Go on. We can, we can do this. We can do this. We, we have, have the uh, technology that's... Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. There it is. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Lo says, thank you for all the lovely messages yesterday. Well, you see, this is the thing, Lo. We will always give credit where credit is due. And um, the necklace is lovely. It's really lovely. It's so, yeah, if you do need any special gifts of the silver-based variety, do go and look at O and P Silver. Not the one that's based in Birmingham. There's another one. There's an, an O and P Silver in Birmingham. Oh. That's not low. That's not. I don't think. I don't think that's you. Anyway, is it? I'm just. A, it might be. Could you imagine how embarrassing that would be? <laughs> but it didn't look like your sort of stuff. There were no witches hatched. That's for sure. Um, right. Half me to heavens this week. For those of you that are new to watching, because I've seen a few new names. So good morning to you. Um, <laughs> Mark's like, we can fix it. Yes, we can. Oh, it's like Bob the Builder. We have the power. We have the power. That's not his phrase, is it? It's, can you fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Who has the power? Do, 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 do. Oh, snap. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have the power. How have we got... <laughs> yeah, oh, Jane's dancing. <laughs> have you been on the sugar already this morning? No, have I you? think I'm still on the sugar high from yesterday. Still on the sugar high. I crashed about three o'clock this morning and went... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe that was not such a good idea. Um, and then, obviously, was lifted up again by all of the fanny jokes that we've had this morning. I've got to get it out there, Jane. Yeah, you just got to get it. I've Say just it and get it go. Get out I'm getting my fanny out there. What happened, for those of you that are about to turn off in utter disgust, is <laughs> that Riley Brake brought out a Jane Austen range of fabrics, and they were named after... Um, Jane Austen-y type people. I think they're characters, aren't they? Yeah, they're characters, and I think some might have been named after a sister, or I might have just made that up. But anyway, they were named after characters, and one of them, of course, has had us giggling like children most of the morning because it is unfortunately named Fanny. Is it short for Francis? Yes. It I is. So. Can we rename it Francis so that I don't just laugh like a child all morning? I can't help it. Oh, there you go. Lo says, yeah, they're only Facebook. Um, there we go. Uh, well, Elizabeth's laughing. I mean, is there any surprise? <laughs> no, sur <laughs> no, no surprise. Thank you, Elizabeth, for being on our level. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, I mean, it's a good job there were no boys here this morning. We would have embarrassed them we would massively. Um, would, you <laughs> would you like to see my... You can't do it. You can't, can't do it. Don't would you say like, it. <laughs> would you like to see my lovely Elizabeth? No, Elizabeth? No, what's it called? Uh, Jane Austen, Austen fabrics. fabrics. Let's go with that. Safer. Crikey. This is a slight step away from our normal um, half meter heavens. Crikey, I'm going to get myself in trouble, aren't I, this morning? You know when this doesn't get loaded to YouTube for <laughs> inappropriate content or something? I'll only have myself to blame, won't I? What happened was... Um, I don't know, where are we cutting this up for? Anyway, something happened and one of the Jane Austens got put with it and Inga, and it just got put on top of them and we're like, actually, mm, that looks nice. amazing together. And then I was like, we've got, because so, we'd fat courted all of these and I'm like, no, we've got Fanny in the warehouse. <laughs> so we went and got Fanny out of the warehouse and, um, and Inga says that she wants, just, you know, if anybody wants a maker one, um, she wants a makeup bag or a bathroom bag with the with the mirror, mirror PU. PU yeah but how beautifully does it go with that and Fanny right I'm going to put that away now and that will just be a half meter heaven plus price I'm going to put it away because it's two fat quarters isn't it and a half meter yeah so that's fat quarter that's a fat quarter that's yeah that's your fat they're your fat quarters but this is a big fat quarter yes because it's on a longer roll and that's your half metre. So we just thought that was lovely. Uh, plus, it made us laugh quite a lot. And then <laughs> we were like, goldfish, gold, gold, gold. Um, and we've got, we've got, we've only got seven of these. And then that's, that's the, that's that fabric gone then. Can you believe it? But this has actually got a little bit of gold. Um, what's the word I want, Jane? Metallic. Thank you. 
Jane has the words. She's just <laughs> going to provide like subtitles for me. <laughs> I'm just going to giggle at myself in a really That's childish really manner. Lovely. It's really rather lovely, isn't it? Because then you've got so much. You've got a feature outer fabric. You've got, um, you know, you can you can then, or, or however wi however yeah. which way you want to split it up. Maybe that's going to be your lining, and that's going to be if like if I like I always think of the then, yeah. um, ah, the pocketed pouch. Yeah. Because that ha you know you could have that oh, anyway. However you want to do it, it's just a lovely trio, and um, you know as trios go, we've got three of these combinations so that's one one and two they couldn't be more different could they uh and then this oh no we've got four because i can't count because we've got a cave one as well this one oh this is now you see this was called copper pu i guess it is coppery isn't it yes it's got like a yeah. softness to it it's and sort then, of almost a pink peachy tone and then muted peach in your bumbleberries which happened to go rather beautifully with the last of the, oh, there you go. You've even got it written down in Jane's handwriting that you can actually read. <laughs> Scribbled this morning. It's, it's a quick write the label. It's a bit beautiful. It just picks up those tones there. There's just seven of those as well. Is there seven as well? Yeah. That's it. And I then think that's, it's, that's it's gold. Been dictated by the amount of PU. That's all we have left. Yeah. Mm. In fact, that PU needs to come. Gemma, yeah. can we zero the PU stock, please? I don't. I suddenly, she's thought, already done it. I have think. you already done it? Suddenly thought we might have had some bundles. Oh gosh. Now, this one's also gorgeous. Have you got a favourite? Yeah, I'm quite liking that one with the silver. I like silver, you see, I'm a silver person. Just as well, if you turn around and said you were a gold person, <laughs> oh, I could have bought no. you a silver necklace. I, right I right gravitate towards silver. Thank goodness for that. Um, so this is your K facet with, with a fat quarter of moda and a fat quarter of silver. Wee! Mirror PU! <laughs> yeah, Low. Funny that uh, Low is not offended by our previous <laughs> comments. In fact, she's put it in shouty shouty capitals. This is brand new today, by the way. This is called The Dreamer. It's from Lewis and Irene. And do you remember, we only bought two bolts of this collection, didn't we? Yes. We just bought those two colours. Because we? we just thought they went really, really beautifully together. This is so on trend, isn't it? Yes. Um, and Taking so a line and just doing one continuous drawing. Isn't yeah, it? we're just going to do this as a half meter heaven plus special because we only bought the two bolts because um, that was what we fancied. It would make a lovely bag, wouldn't it? It would make a really lovely bag, really, really lovely bag. Um, I keep seeing people wearing lovely shirts and things in that. Mm. Ooh, nice. nice. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Right, which do we want to go? Let's go normal half meter heavens. And uh, okay, so this is new. This is your row of flowers from Cave. Stunning! And Aqua. Look at that. I know, I know. Do you know, this is the funny thing, isn't it? Because actually, let me find it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It was that. Oh, it's in the wrong pile. Here we go. Actually, colour-wise, that is the same colour as that. But that actually does more for it because there are so many other blues. It was really... Yeah, and it this just is lifted the, the blue tones, didn't it? No. So what we did was put the Strawberry Thief with the Aqua instead, the mini Strawberry Thief. It makes it really modern, doesn't it, and bright. Yeah. But, you know, I'm trying to put those on there so it's easier to f photograph. Uh, so we've got that and we've got this as your half meter heaven as well. Do you want to see that on a c slight close up? I say slight close up, it's the only close up I've got. So, you know. Woo! Wee! Isn't it beautiful? And I just think that bringing this in yeah, makes it, it really it. modern. Yeah. Which is weird, but I like it. Um. Right, yeah, we were started with normals, weren't we? These sold out last week. We managed to get some more for those of you because lots went, we missed out. And they are rather lovely. Getting that 
little glitter thing going on yeah, the and then that's the crayons, it aren't they? yeah that's all we've got then um this is sea of dreams wonder tulip pink with pomegranate Whee. Nice. and then oh so talking lewis and irene this is my gilt fabric and I feel guilty about this because we've never really given it any airtime at all. No. It all arrived. We had like three different collections all arrive at once. Yeah, and we, we all showed went, the others and they all we sold. We went mad for the bees, didn't we? Because yeah. they loved the bees. And then poor old Bloom got... We just didn't... We never <laughs> really showed it. We never did anything with so it. it's so pretty. So what I've started to do, I've started to put them in the half metre heavens, but not all of it. So if you still want to buy some by... You know, if you want yardage... This is another one from the, it's just so beautiful, look at that. So if you want yardage of this, we've got it. There's almost a Sanderson feel to that one, isn't there? There really is, there really is. How stunning is that? But it just means that you could mix and match them through yeah. and you've got a quilt, you know, and that's what we like to do. Now, talking of bees, this has got sort of a linen-y texture to the back of it. Can you see it sort of? A bit worried, sort of distressed. We, it was a, we were like, oh, is there a mark on that? And it isn't. It's the texture of the linen and the background with the bees it's, on yeah, the no, top. It's, all, it's, it's all really through. pretty. I just saw one bit as I was yeah. cutting and went, oh. But no, it's actually meant to be there. Um, and then there is, there it is with black because, you know, sometimes. Yeah, the just, black works really well with it. It just sets that lemony well, colour off. it makes off. it look like a bee. Yeah. So they are your half metre heaven normals. And then, oh, we found some more blush. And we've put it with this. In fact, I'm going to take that off there and put that on there and then show you that. Whoops. That. That is why we put it with blush. Moda blush. Isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous. Yep. yep, yep, yep it's yep. art gallery fabric, isn't it? It one? is art gallery fabric and it's absolutely stunning. Do you want to see? Actually, I'm going to go overhead on this one. Um, I'm loving the Macau spray tines. It's it's been a sort of new discovery for me. Mm. They've always been on my radar, but I've never really appreciated them for what they are. But look at that. It's a bit gorgeous. It is a bit so gorgeous. It's rich, isn't it? That now, is you know how sometimes, Jane, I just like to give you a couple of options, and a lot of you go for yeah. them both because you want yardage. So I'm just going to throw this out there. The I adore that clash. Yeah, I don't because I it's like the pink and orange together. I think they go. It's the whole thing of this. Yeah. It's I told you about the conversation I had with Kay for about pink and orange. And I said, I was wearing a pink top and I put orange shoes on it. And I said to him, I'm not sure this goes. He said, But darling, orange is pink. Yeah. And I went, oh, oh, yeah. You put it like that. Yeah, it is. So I don't mind ever having pink and orange together. And uh, and that's that's a beautiful one. This is the first time we've bought this one to wear, actually. We've never had this colourway before. Ooh! It is, of course, a Philip Jacobs for the Key Facet Collective. He's a clever old stick, isn't it's he? It's lovely. It's a real, it's got a really rich colour tone to it. It's lovely. And opulence. That's the word. Let's have a bit of opulence, opulence. here, yeah, shall we? definitely. Now, we had this as the bag, didn't we? Yes. Which is kicking about somewhere. And then... We had a little bit left over from those kits. I'm sorry, that one. No, it was one of the saddle saddle satchels. There it is. But what we didn't have at the time, because it came in late, was the spray time in the purple, which just would be rude not to. Ha! <laughs> nice. It's a bit stunning, isn't it? It's Gorgeous. a bit special. So it just gives you another option. Anyway, we've got what we can of that. Um, oh, now, Jane. Jane, 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 Jane. We loved this. I was like, oh, I love the colours. I made like a beach bag out of this when they very, very first arrived, when yeah. this collection first came in. And Kay and Brandon saw it when I did a Skype interview with them. And Brandon said to me, I'm so pleased you did that. In fact, it's in the top box in the in the utility roomy bit I get it um in the in the CAFE um sample box because he said that was what CAFE had in mind when he made this fabric 
So then you're going to need a lining. And look at that. I've gone batik for you people. So it looks like the leaves. And it's got all the greens and all the yellows. It's just stunning. Um, I've got to sing it to you because I was so, so excited this morning when I realised that one of the new batiks that have come in would go. Oh, here it is. Look, Jane's got it. Here we go. Thank you. Oh, it's got a cushion in it. Yeah, just <laughs> hold it. Hold it firm. But yeah, that was, and that was, it's just room saving, isn't it? And that was, yeah. I love this one. And that would look lovely with that batik, wouldn't it? Well, that's why we've it's done it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so just so that you get an idea of what that would look like. Well, doesn't that look lovely with your top? I mean, if Summer is going to spend a while getting here. Yeah, I think it's come today. It's we've here, we've got to be ready. See a little picnic in that? Yeah. Job done. Super. Thanks ever so. Thanks ever so. Um, been organising all our samples. We now have boxes galore of samples everywhere. Oh, and so... <laughs> Jane, did I get overexcited with the um, with the batiks this morning? <laughs> oh, she just giggles. She doesn't say no. She just giggles. Um, but look at this. Just look at this. I'm thinking, what is that? I'm going to show you on a close click. Right. Oh, this is where you actually get to see how ham-fisted I am. Look at that. Doesn't that lift? those deer it's stags. just really lovely isn't it but and it's, it's got that texture that natural texture to it can you imagine a waistcoat made out of that with yes. the batik on the back yes just lovely i could see that or even a man's wash bag yeah or a cushion oh, or yeah, anything really even lovely. if it was just piped in that yeah the cushion would look beautiful it would it? look really stunning or back to or whatever oh jane oh jane now 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 Talking of batiks, this is again from the Lewis and Irene. That is a really pale purple salt batik. It looks like it's been made for the fabric, doesn't I it? I know. How stunning is that? I don't. I can't get any more of that. No. And that's it. That's it gone. But that's I just such think a pretty calming colourway, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. 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 So I was super excited when I found that. I'm going to just bring these blooms out actually for a minute because this is another one and I've put that and with another spray time because it just picked out the wings perfectly this is all from the same collection oh that one's not that's your Makawa I couldn't remember I've written heron crane or emu I don't think it's an emu it's a crane is it not I don't know I'm sure they were putting them as cranes I don't know because do you remember we had that other one and whatever it was we always got it wrong yes yeah and that has now tarnished me for life <laughs> I now can never remember um, right so these are your half me to heaven options from the love blooms collection and I just wanted to show you how because this is sort of what we pride ourselves in isn't it is bringing you all the colours, how gorgeous would all of those look together? Absolutely beautiful. In a quilt. Yeah. That little pop of turquoise yeah. is just lovely. And and there's more in the collection. Go and have a look if you want to add in some extras. But just, I mean, for me, like that's quite stand out. Yeah. I like that together. Is it magenta with the, with the pink? Yeah. I like that with the turquoise and the butterflies. You see, this one feels quite modern because we've put it with that. Yeah. Whereas the others feel quite Sanderson-y, but they are all from the same range. The lovely collection. So that's where we're at this morning. Something a little bit different. All over the shop. I've shown everything, haven't I? I have. I so. Now, um, today Jane is making... She's going to show you how to do... Is it a mini... A mini one or is it a normal size one? Well, that's a traditional size one. You can make it bigger and you can fit the charm packs in, but actually it works really well with the mini charms. It's beautiful. So the centre of each of those cathedral windows is a two and a half inch square. Mm -hmm. So 
it means that it is absolutely perfect for our little idly biddly two and a half inch charm packs um, and then you can really pick what you want out of there there's some beautiful colors in there we've chosen if you want to have it um, gold if you go to our cut to you Order. know yeah. or even if you just put in gold it will come up um, half a meter of that beautiful with the dove I love this one that's so pretty oh I love this one it's so so pretty um, and this is I can't remember who it's made by and I can't read it from there is it three sisters well it looks like it should be but it might oh, be bunny hill designs don't know anyway with silver we think it looks lovely can't read it's too small and then for the squirrely girl and daybreak we've put those both with ivory because they're a bit gorgeous with ivory oh the squirrel girl with the squirrel with an acorn hat i love the squirrel girl. i think that's beautiful um and then i'm going to let jane explain to you the other combinations that we've got for you um do you want me to move some of these out of the way or shall i just the dover is brenda riddle design brenda riddle yeah. riddle me that there you go. If anyone wants those as a kit, if anybody wants them as a kit, the cathedral window talk into my microphone, yeah. Gemma. The cathedral. Oh, I, mean, I will raise my voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the cathedral window kit uses, unless Jane tells me I'm wrong, 1.25 meters of mm -hmm. the plane. Right. So if anyone particularly loves those, I shall endeavour to load them as some kits now. So Just you get a mini charm and 1.25 of the plane to go with. So basically, put a message under the show today and Gemma will do as she's told. I'll create a product so that they can purchase. I mean, I say do as she's told. It'd be the first <laughs> time for anything, right? <laughs> Accurate! <laughs> uh, <laughs> for those of you that are thinking, how rude. Gemma and I have known each other for over 20 years. Yeah, your buddies. We get on. Buddy buddies. You know. Um, and it, yeah. It's just basically a friendship based on banter, I think. Um, Jane, I'm going to move out. Look, I'm just trying to stay hydrated today because I ate so much rubbish yesterday. Um, I'm going to get out your way. If I pop those to there. I've got to get my, my carafe of water. Oh. Yeah, there were gin in it. Um, and then I'm going to squidge around there. I realise I've managed to... Um, Fill my seat over there. Oh, so filled it with cushions and quilts and things, haven't we? Yeah. <coughs> I'm going to come and sit over here instead today. Hang it on. Because um, you know the cats aren't in. Because you can. Yeah. Right. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Isn't it a beautiful <laughs> morning this morning? It's a thank you so much for all your lovely birthday messages. I was quite overwhelmed when I got home and looked at them all. It was really lovely, so thank you. I had a lovely day. I was thoroughly spoiled. It was really nice. It's almost like your special, Jane, isn't it? Uh, yeah, well, you know. you know, what can I say? It's what we think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me just check if we've um, just called it Big Bird. Heather, yes, I should. Yes, that's good. That idea. would do it. That's what I get called um, all the time. And I'm comfortable with that. Look crane. <laughs> crane. <laughs> Slow crane. crane. Um. <laughs> All right. So we've got the two kits that we came up with yesterday. Well, obviously, I have had the bunny hop. I've had this bunny hop, and I was like, oh, can I do it half me to heaven that I'd like to use this? Because I just think that is so fresh and summery with the white, and that's what I did the sample with. The cathedral window is a lovely technique and, it, and it, you can use up quite small pieces of fabric, two and a half inch squares, as we said. And then I, we always like to do an alternative colourway and we were like a dark and I was saying, oh, it would be nice with some cafe and black. And then we were looking at the, on the two and a half inch squares, weren't we? And we've got these jelly rolls of the woodland. It's, um, is it Tilda? Yes, Tilda, isn't it? These jelly that one, rolls. Oh, the jelly rolls, yeah. yeah. Do you want to go overhead on that and just... Um... So, um, 
I opened, I, I said, have you got some spare ones? Because I know Natasha had done the um, mats done with the jelly rolls it, yeah. and all sorts of things. And um, she said, no, just go and open a new one. And I was like, oh, we don't need that much, really. But then I looked at the jelly roll and there's two fabrics of each strip, of each, two strips of each fabric in the jelly roll. So I said to Natasha this morning, we could split them and do the kits with half a jelly roll, basically. You wouldn't use all that jelly roll, either, You won't use you? it all, not with what you need for the kit. And you can always buy more of the plane and make it bigger or make more. You know, the, I'm going to show you the technique today. I'm doing it in quite a small piece, but there's nothing to stop you buying more of the planes and making it bigger or making more of them. The this is the thing, isn't it? It's it's a technique that means that then you can make it into a bag front, a cushion front. It's one you of those You can make things. it into a quilt. You could just keep going because yeah. it's one of those things that it's um, you can do cathedral window by hand. So it's one of those projects that you can have in your bag and you can keep doing a few squares each time when you're sitting waiting for the kids while they're swimming or at drama group. Do you or hand stitch these? You can. Yeah. I've done this on machine because I'm going to show you how to do it by machine. Yeah. But I will talk about how you, there is some hand stitching in it anyway. But you can do it all by hand. Nice. And then, as we said, we've got the um, mini charms, which, you know, your squares are cut ready for you then. And actually, those, those mini square charms, they work such a treat with the quilter's grid. Yes. Yeah. They really do. They're That's so much fun with that. with the quilter's grid. They were made for it, weren't they? Yeah. So that's what we've got kit-wise for you today. A little bit different. Um, are you talking about the scrap bags? Um, there will be scrap bags <laughs> coming very soon. Because I was just going to say, it's a good way of using up scraps as well. Yeah, so we have, basically we've spent the morning making up a whole load of scrap bags, but we will always give our subscribers heads up first as to when they will be released that makes sense. so anyone that's got a tilda or a cave subscription that was just part of the subscription deal that they would always get first dibs on um on the scrap things and so they always get like a they get them released like a couple of hours before they go yeah live for everyone else so they will be coming and we've got we've actually got 50 scrap bags this time wow um we've been saving it up and saving up and they are well we kept looking at them going they're, they're really gorgeous yeah. They're really gorgeous. <laughs> just dibbing in and pulling out pieces of fabric. They're just ends of bolts and bits we've used in samples, aren't they, that are left over and things. And it, they're quite, some of them are quite big pieces. Right, so you start off with your background square, which is your plain fabric. It doesn't have to be a plain, it can be a pattern. It can be, a, you know, you can get some really nice um, tone on tone patterns and things, and like your spray times and things would be work really nicely with that, or batiks. And you need your squares. For this size, we're working with an eight and a half inch square. We're going to take the squares. Now for the table runner, bag front, placemat, whatever you want to use it for, that size, I've done 24 squares. So you've got 24 squares of your background fabric. You're going to fold it right sides together. If a plane hasn't really got a right side so don't worry about it right sides together and we're going to seam a quarter of an inch down each side to make a sort of pocket you'll be surprised really how quickly this comes together and gives you this lovely effect watch out Gemma's coming Steady on. <laughs> I thought she was going to come tell us something there. Now, what I would recommend is that you do a little back stitch at the beginning. And maybe again at the end. And you can chain piece this. You can do, do your squares in half and then just chain piece down the sides. Go down one side and then go down the other. I've done mine in rows of three, but you can do it in rows of four, rows of five, whatever you wish. Whichever you wish. 
once you've tried the technique, you'll be able to see how it can go together. So can you just show everyone what you've just, how you've just stitched it, where you've just stitched? Just quarter of an inch down the side from the top, folded them in half, so that's the fold down the middle, from the top down to the end there. And we're going to do it down the other side. And the reason I've done a, a little back stitch is that you turn it through. So obviously it's going to have like a stress point. So it's quite unusual for me to do any back stitching with my patchwork. But I just thought, well, it'll just reinforce because that's a weak point where you're going to be turning it. Just having a little back stitch there sort of helps it not unravel. Jo's got to go. She's on Nana duties. Oh dear. And uh, she's uh, watching Dancing Vegetables on YouTube. I mean, we can't compete with Dancing Vegetables, no, can we, No, there's no competition, is I there, I think really? Know Your Limits, and, uh, and I think a Dancing Vegetable is probably it. Yeah. Okay. Now remember, if you are spending over £30 today, your PMP is free. Oh, um, that's nice. We did relentlessly take the pee out of SJ oh, yesterday. Oh, poor SJ. She was mortified. <laughs> she? She's like, oh, next time I'll have to read it through out loud before I sing it. <laughs> well, her. no, what we've decided now, so for those of you that, that um, have used the, the code, you will probably realise what we're talking about. For those of you that haven't put in the code, um, when you have to put in the code free PP, she didn't want to put a symbol in there, so just a free PP, um, which obviously because we're children we all laughed at quite a lot, uh, we're comfortable with that as well. And um, yeah, so I think now we're, we're just going to make up ridiculous codes. Yeah, it's just the fun of it. Yeah, we can. Because we can. <laughs> because we can. <laughs> And it just brightens your day, really. <laughs> yeah. And if it doesn't, it should. Yes. <laughs> no offence is meant. No. It's no, all no, done no. with jest and lightheartedness. <laughs> so that is now SJ's remit, is every time she has to put up any sort of code, it has to be faintly ridiculous. Um, <laughs> uh, right. Lo would like it just to have sort of flange or a bit of fanny in it. Yeah, I mean, it's, why not? That's where, that's the tone this morning. Yeah, this is where we're going. And it's Jane Austen's fault. Not yeah. often you can say that either, is no. it? Her fault. It's all her fault. <laughs> right, so we're taking the pouch that we've made now. So we've sewn four to an inch up either side of the, put it right sides together. We've got sort of a pouch shape. So we're going to take that now and we're lining up those seams that we've just sewn and we're going to join this seam together. Now it, it's not straight. It is straight but it isn't because it folds down because we're now working with bias edges and it's the bias that we want that pulls through to make the shape. So line your seams up and we're not going to sew all the way across this seam. We're going to stop and give ourselves about an inch and a half gap. So again, just line it up, take it to the um, first, the, the seam, the centre seam, but do yourself a little back stitch, just a couple of stitches at the beginning. And as you get to the middle, start um, straightening the seam up. It's quite important that you get that seam in the middle to lie flat and to lie straight. Because if you, if you sew over the seam at an angle, when you come to turn it through, it won't lie flat. So I've just gone about half an inch past that seam. I'm going to do a few reverse stitches. I'm going to cut the thread. I'm just going to move it up about an inch and a half. And then I'm going to start again. So a few stitches, reverse, and then to the end and reverse. Why have we got, why are we even a gap? Did I miss that bit? We're going to pull it through. Oh, we're it's a it turning through, through to, the right, to the right side. Oh, well, that makes more sense. So, again, line the seams up. Can you just do that? Because you're not quite in either... Oh, okay. All right, no. go close up. We're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You weren't quite in either camera. Oh, yeah. that was clever. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't you know, know which one to go with. X 
with points She's on, on the us. edge. It's like every map I need yeah. is right on the edge. Yeah. And I have to buy at least three to get the place that I need. So start at the beginning, three, few, few stitches, two or three stitches, um, keeping the, the edges of the fabric together. We've lined up that seam. If you want to pin it, do. But you'll find I found it easier not to pin it because you've got to sort of twist the fabric slightly as you go. So you get to the seam. I made sure the seams were going in opposite directions because again, that helps it to lie flatter. And then about half an inch past that, that seam, stop, do a few reverse stitches, cut in my thread, and then I'm just moving about an inch and a half. It's just so that you can get your fingers in really and pull it through. So a few stitches, reverse, and then to the end, and a few stitches. Now you see, when I get us um, beautiful, beautiful uh, forceps, yeah. this isn't going any better, is it, today? You know, with... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> they would be great for turning those through. Yes, they would. And again, you can you can chain piece this. You can go, you know, from one from one to the next one. So this this initial part you can get done quite quickly. Um, it just takes a little time, just for the first few, to get yourself into the rhythm of it. But once you've got yourself into the rhythm, it goes. You know, it's quite straightforward, really. It's just making sure that you leave a gap, but don't. I one of them. I so I I let I only left that much to sew. Right. Okay. Put it in. Put it in shot for me. I only left there about that much, and really that's too short a, a piece there when you come to turn it through, and you'll understand why when we turn it through. Morning, Gabriella. Yep. If it goes over thirty pounds, yes, it does. Yes, it does. So we're now going to turn these pouches through to the right side now and obviously plain fabric right wrong side doesn't really apply but if you were using a pattern of fabric you'd have turned it right sides together to start with and we're poking out the corners and um, if you've got one of the little um, stilettos that we had in the Inspirer they're really handy for poking out the corners. Your scissors. Obviously, when you're poking out the corners, be careful. You don't want to poke through the fabric. I've just ordered more of those um, prim pokey tools because they're fabulous for, oh, actually, yes. for actually shaping the corner as yeah. well. Not just poking it out, but actually shaping the corner as well. So try and get it as sharp as you can. And actually, you know, if you feel that, it will help you. I haven't trimmed off any of the corners on mine and I've got quite a nice sharp point on the corners. But if you wanted to, you could just take off the bit of seam allowance, being careful not to um, cut into your stitching. But that would reduce a bit of the bulk, so you can do that. That's another thing that will help give you nice sharp corners. So just taking off that, just that little corner there. So when you pull it through, there's less bulk in the corners, which, you know, can help. But be careful that you don't snip through this, 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 these stitches because those corners are going to be quite important later on. So if you've got holes or anything in your fabric or it's a weak point where the stitching is going to come unraveled, that's, no that's good. going to call you problems further down the line. Oh, Ali. Ali is really treating her Paul for his birthday today. I mean, you thought it was bad enough that you had to come to work. Ali's made a doctor's appointment for her, <laughs> not realising. <laughs> I think Happy at the birthday, moment, dear. <laughs> we forget, don't we, what the day is and the date is. And, and if we can get an appointment for the doctors, we just take it. You just it. take it. Yeah. You just take it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So <laughs> just poke those through. And then, as I say, just take your scissors and just, just to make it a little bit sharper. So you get a nice crisp point in there. Just poking them through. 
Was it an eight and a half inch square you started with, Jane? Yeah. Yeah, there you go, Annie. Oh, Patty says, what's the Tilda or Safe Cafe subscription? So um, we started at, at the start of the year um, a Tilda and a Cafe subscription. So you pay, I think it's, it's something like 20 pounds or something each month and every other month. And they come at the end of the month. So we're just starting to cut all the fabric now to start to send out um, the Tilda and the Cafes. At the end of this year, we will open those subscriptions up again for everyone um we 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 want to add people now if we can but it's really quite complicated just because of the system that we're using for the subscriptions but that all changes at the start of the year this is the boring bit that nobody needs to know but if i don't explain it it just looks like we're being difficult yeah and we're not and we're not it's just no, that we no, can't. no no <laughs> so come the new year we will have lots of different subscription options for you that you can dip in and out of as and when you wish you won't be tied in for the whole year um, you know, because people's circumstances change, don't yeah. they? So we don't worry about the gap. We're not, we don't have to sew that up or anything. That can stay as it is. And now we're going to press the squares again, just to give us a nice, it's more the, about the points rather than the sides, because the sides are a bias. So you don't want to stretch it as you press it. Um, and because you've manipulated your fabric quite a lot, it gets quite crumply. So give the squares a, a press. Oh yeah, so Patty, to then finish the, the question, <laughs> then every second month you get sent a great big wadge of either Tilda or Cafe fabrics. Um, the Cafe actually has two matching planes that go with it and the Tilda has, I always make sure that the Tilda has um, a plane, mainly a, a chambray goes in there as well. Um, what else does the Tilda have? And then the Tilda has one of like the florally patterns and then something like one of the stripy or one of the like one of uh, like a ditzy type um and something else what else do i put in there jane oh i don't know they're all they're all planned they're all yeah. planned and in a special a special place so that um they don't accidentally get cut into for anything else so you're going to now mark halfway along the side of your square now these are five and a half, so that's like two and set, two and three quarters. What you can do, I'm just going to mark that on all four sides. Oh, Michelle's in a caravan in Cromer. Where is Cromer? It's one of those places I always hear is about, it, and I don't actually know where it is. Is it on the east coast, sort of like north? Norfolk way, way. I, I don't so. know but I hope it is because that's a really beautiful part of it's the country it's a lovely part of the country mm. um so you've marked half way on the sides there and you can join those points up to make a line across the corner we hang on your head's in the way can you sorry <laughs> <laughs> these points these on points my head on my head there that from ear to ear there and there <laughs> can you see I do that I have to keep checking I get so engrossed. And yeah, like, you do. Oh. And it's like... <laughs> oh, Sue's it. got a message for you. She says, many thanks for the Elliot's garden kit. Made it for my granddaughter's 18th. Went together very easily, but sorry, Jane, I didn't do it justice when quilting. Even so, it does look okay. Well, that's fine. If you're happy with it, that's all that matters, isn't it? Well, I mean, more to the point, is the granddaughter happy with yeah. it? Yeah. And I'm sure she really is. And that's all that ever matters, isn't it? Yes. That's the most important thing, is the person that you're giving to is happy with it. Now, I've marked that. Now, what I did find was I could, um, particularly with the dark fabric, is I could just finger press it, or you could do it with your iron even, and you get a, a crease. Mm. Now, these are lines that you're going to need to sew along. So if you're able to see the crease and you're happy sewing with just a crease mark, then that sort of saves you a bit of time. But if not, mark it with your fabric marker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, we've we just all ordered, ordered more of the chalk ones, the chalk fabric markers. They're really they're good. They're really this. good. Yeah. Because you know it's never going to stain the fabric. No, and it, and it washes off easily, doesn't it? And you can, quite often, you can just brush it off as well. So just makes life a little easier yeah. for you. 
Ali says Chroma is in Norfolk. Gorgeous crab. I mean, okay. If or you like crab. A good crab mayonnaise sandwich on brown, Ooh. thick brown bread. Are you not a crab fan? I don't eat meat, do I? So, oh. Thought of eating crabs is not. <laughs> yeah, no, I think the thing is, because um, my mum's vegetarian, well, she's vegetarian, but she'll eat fish. Is that a pescatarian? Pescatarian, yeah. Yeah, so she, and so I just, I forget that actual real vegetarians don't even eat that. Soz. Okay. Um, Lo says she missed it. Did you sew up the gap? No. no, I don't set up the gap. Where is the gap? The gap is here. There, look. Because that gap's going to be covered over and it won't affect. This is why I did a little bit of a reverse stitch on either side, but it's not going, you're not going to see it. So, but if you want to, you can. It's your quilt, do it your way. So, you know, you'll know whether you can cope with the fact that you know that there's a gap in the fabric, but you're not going to see it. So I'm going to now so along, I lined up the squares. So I lined them up, putting them, this now is, is sort of like the wrong side of the fabric, the, the plain side. So I put them wrong sides together and lined up the marks there on either side. So I got a fold on that side mm. and my marked line there. So you've got this effect going on and I'm going to do the same. So that's a pair joined together like that. So you've got that there and then I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. So lining up the marks there, I can see the crease mark you see. So lining up those two marks there and there. Fab. Just popping a pin in just to hold it while you take it to the machine. I can never remember how this is done. But and it's one that I always want to do a lot of. Yeah. Michelle says, yes, it's Norfolk and we've had a few gorgeous dress crabs. We've been here three weeks and the weather couldn't have been better. Who needs a broad? Do you you know don't, what? do you? Yes. When you've got lovely weather, you can't beat the British Isles for a holiday. You've got the seaside and everything. It's lovely. Uh, yeah, I was, you see, I was getting it confused with Cromar, AR, not ER, oh. which is Uddersfield. Oh, I didn't a know very there was different one. situation. So you're going to sew them together in rows, as many as you want to do. You might, I've, as I say, I've done mine um, three by six, I think. Was it three by six? I can't remember now how many I did it by. <laughs> Sorry, I've just gone completely blank then. Um, did I do 18? Oh, I don't know. It's in the pattern anyway, but I did it rows of three and then did as many rows as I needed. And then you're going to join the rows together. So you'll have just, if you ignore this bit here, because that's a bit of prep that I've gone the next stage up, but you'll have all these rows and you're going to join the rows together. So I've got my fold line along there and you, or you can mark it. So you just place your ruler along your marked lines and you'll mark your sewing line across there. You really just want it to hit the peak on that part there. You don't want it to come any further down, really. And then you'll place those again, wrong sides together, and you'll line them up. And just pop a pin in just to hold it. And again on this side, just lining up the mark there where those two creases have joined together and that line there. Okay, and you're going to sew all the way along there. And again, I would just do a little reverse stitch when you get to the end of each little point. So when I get to here, I'll just do a reverse stitch there and then I'll go straight across, but I'll just do a little reverse stitch.
Oh, Lo's been interrupted again. She said, were these sewn wrong sides together? Sorry, people keep interrupting. Yes, yeah, so you've got the, the seams are facing upwards. So you've got all your seams facing upwards where you've turned it through. You've got all your seams facing frontwards. So on the back, it's all plain. You can see that that's just plain fabric on the back. So you'll have all these pieces now, all these flappy pieces here. And this is when you start bringing your fabrics together. And you'll need to do a little bit of hand stitching just to bring the points together. So you just need to um, put your needle in the point at one side. Oops. Not your thread if you want to, but have make sure that the knot goes underneath the fabric. And just go to the opposite point and pull them together. We might have to show this on a close-up because it's yeah. dark on dark and it's quite tricky to Let's see. Go there. You see oh, that? that's better. Yeah, you can see that. So you forget that dark is quite tricky to see. Yes, sometimes. I should have thought about that. Should no, 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 no. Done it with it, a light thread or something. It was me that asked you to demo it in the tilde because I thought yeah. it looked so beautiful. I was like, could we just do so that? So just a couple I really of like stitches there, holding that one together, those two points together. And then we bring the opposite points in. So we have that point there. I don't know if you can see that. That point there and then that one. And we're going to do a couple of stitches to hold those two together. You want them lying flat. So you, you're pulling them together, but you're not pulling them up. So they're sort of lying flat in the middle. And you might even see a little bit of your thread and that's fine. Um, you might want to just go into the opposite side ones just to link them, just to hold them. And then you'll take your thread to the back and you'll just grab some of the, th the fabric from underneath. You can go through all the layers, but you don't need to. And I just grab the top layer of fabric so it's not coming through on the back. It's just literally that. If we go close up, I don't know if you'll see it. Let's have a little look. Just literally grabbing a stitch into the, the fabric underneath, which would be this bit here, this layer. And then you just thread, fasten off your thread. Just do a, a, a knot through. And then take your thread into the gap and Ooh. just bring it down, just so that it hides the end, really. Right. So it's lying nice and flat there on the middle bit. And we'll do that again with the ones at the side. So it's just a case of taking your needle up into the point and then taking the thread. This is why you want really quite sharp points on the corners. Just bringing those two together. If you feel um, it would help you. You can press it before you start bringing the points together if you feel you want to make sure that it lies flat. But doing it with your fingers and finger pressing it is enough, I feel. And it also gives it a bit of texture. You don't want it too flat, really. You want a bit of um, texture to it because I think that's what Cathedral win Window is all about, really, is the, is the movement and texture of the fabric. It's just so versatile, isn't it? I mean, yeah. you, we, um, we draped, I say we, Gemma beautifully draped the sample that you made over, um, what do we call it, a dresser? It's not really a dresser, it's is a it? sideboard, I suppose. Sideboard it, with really? top bit on. Yeah. Um, and it looked absolutely stunning. And I would probably very happily put it on there again. <laughs> it's the there. photo on the front of the pattern when you see it. And um, and it's it's very artistically done, and she's got my wooden acorns in it as well. And I put the acorns on on the new sideboard, and Stephen said, "Oh, they're nice. Yeah, where did you get those?" I was like, "They've been in the kitchen for over a year. <laughs> yes, <laughs> these are not new. They've been on the dresser in the kitchen. <laughs> They've been on the windowsill <laughs> yeah. for over a year, <laughs> and he's never noticed them at all. And gone, oh right, they're nice. Like, okay, 
that's fine. And then did you see that the kids had added to it this morning? Yeah, there's a, there's a dinosaur. There's a dinosaur thing. added there. So my whole William Morris kind of, you know, arts and crafty feel that I'd gone for. Um, it's been taken over by the by Jurassic a dinosaur, age. yeah. And that's, you know, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Love him. Love him. Oh, uh, yeah, you go, Helen. Yeah, you could. This could be a joint effort between her and Steve. So she could give uh, this bit to Steve to do because he yeah. wants to learn a bit more. And that yeah, would be fine. His little hand stitching bit. Morning, Jess. Well, he's got his little starter kit that we gave him. Would you put together as many big squares together for the finish size or do you join lots of blocks together? You keep going with... Um, you can join them. You can do some, some and then join it. But obviously you have to be aware that you'll need to leave this, these side bits loose. Yeah. So you can't... You c well, you could, I suppose, put the three on that side, join those together so that you could fill that square in before you then join the next bit on. You can do it that way. Because I think if you do it by hand, it's easier to do it that way as well. Because you could join that by hand. Oh, we're not alone. Alan's just noticed Karen's uh, bunting in the kitchen. <laughs> it's been there for over a year. <laughs> they are funny, aren't they? I'm so glad that we make them beautiful homes. Yeah. <laughs> I had a chair delivered yesterday. Not for my birthday, but just ha so happened that that was the date they were delivering it. And I'd had the cushions for the chair that were going with the chair for a while and I kept them in the packet because I didn't want to start using the cushions and then and um, I then got the cushions out and decided actually the cushions looked nicer on the settee than they did on the chair so I put the cushions on the on the settee and I said do you like the cushions Glenn and he was like well they're the ones and I put the ones that I'd made on the settee onto the onto the chair and he said, well, you made those ages ago. They're lovely. And I said, no, the one that you're sitting next to, the new one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bless I love him. that we make such an effort. I know. I'll just put my needle down there and I can't find it. Never mind. <laughs> Get a new one. Yes, like by hand. She said that would upset her sewing machine. You could just do a holding stitch. You would have a stitch showing on the back. Does that matter? It doesn't matter. There you go, though. Matter. So if you wanted to do it by a, by machine, you could. Yeah, Annie says she's okay. Paul doesn't notice anything either. Uh, it does. You can work it to your own advantage, though, can't you? Yes. When you've bought new clothes. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Uh, yeah, no, I've had this, it ages. This old thing. Yeah, I've had it ages. <laughs> oh, Cass is late today. Are you late or early? Given that you're Australia. Oh no, hang on, it would be late. late Cass is yeah. a bit of a night owl, yeah. Yes. Apologies, Stitchy Witch. It's all right, we didn't we do a roll call you. or anything. We we'll will forgive, forgive you. you. I'll have to play back it's when you nice finish. It's nice that you're here now. Oh, hang on a minute, Jane. Yeah. You know what would also look beautiful, fussy cut in the middle of these? Mm -hmm. The Melba. Lisa Chandler's Melba. Oh, yes. Can you imagine? With black. Oh, yes. Oh, why don't we think of that as well? You so, so many fabric it. options, not enough time. This is the thing, and you've always got such beautiful fabrics. It just, it would go on, 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 wouldn't it? Yeah. You could do so many combinations. See, Jess says she has the opposite. Do we need another cushion? As I sneak one in, I don't think it's ever need. Stephen does say that we have the EU uh, cushion. Uh, well, I don't know, quota, quota, I guess, <laughs> in our home. There's nothing wrong with that. He said, yeah, but you take them off everything before you sit on them. I'm like, well, you know. Well, they're, they're just pretty. Just attached to the scissors. Oh, there we go. Perfect. A little bit of magnetism going on there, I think. Um, I'm quite late to the cushion thing. I never used to like cushions. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jane, what are cushions made of? Well, this is it, fabric. And I think it's only since I've sort of got to the point where I saturated everywhere with quilts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'll make it into a cushion instead. A cushion is just a mini quilt. Yeah. That's all it is. It just doesn't take as long. Um, Elizabeth says that her John notices everything and tells me that looks better over here. It's even worse. Oh, yeah, no, Stephen, <laughs> Stephen and I have an agreement that he doesn't have opinions about, um, about the 
internal decoration. No. And that works for us. Yeah, it, well, Glenn's really good. He's just like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> Do you like this? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Have you looked at it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. don't think you did. <laughs> and it's fine, because if they actually said they didn't like it, we'd just be cross. Yes, I'd so be very grumpy fine. about it if he said, oh, no, I don't yep. like that there. Oh, Diane says, Jane knotted that thread again. I need to slow motion it. Oh, do you want me to do it um, close up? Yeah, go on. I can do that for you. It doesn't always work for me, but it's, sometimes it just ends up in a rubble. So, because I'm going to demonstrate it, it'll probably end up in a rubble. What I do, are we ready? Um, yeah, but I've just, you know, put it on the wrong. No, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, guess who had this yesterday again? Oh, bless her. Yeah, and then she had sticky fingers from eating too much cake. So I take the end, I roll it around my finger, and then I roll my thumb across it and pull it down. Now, you see, Jennifer Taylor does this as well, and I've tried it and I'm rubbish. Yeah. It just doesn't work for me. I get so a just, right I just old roll mess. it once, and then with my thumb, I'm pushing the thread back over, and then as I'm pulling it off, it sort of comes underneath. Yeah, it doesn't do that for me. And sometimes it ends up in a bit of a rubbly mess and sometimes it works beautifully. Okay, yeah, I think rubbly mess is where I get to. But there's a knot on the end of the thread, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? But yeah, Lo says that, that she one. says that we sometimes send out a note in the jury, well done, you've won the competition. Um, yeah, I, I, we've, all, we've, we've all put notes like that in. Yeah. Mm. We were thinking about, you know, making it a, an actual service that we offer. <laughs> <laughs> but we weren't sure how we felt about it. Like, oh. So that's the last one done. So you end up with all this folded into the middle. Yeah. And you've caught the, the points down onto the fabric behind. So it just holds it against that fabric. So let's tie that one off. And traditionally, it's not you. Don't, you don't tend to quilt cathedral window, and there's nothing to stop you. Can you can quilt it? There's no rules really. And tends not to be bound, although I bound the edge of mine just because I wanted to keep it a little bit flatter because it's already got an, a double edge on it. So I've, ta I've chosen three strips from the jelly roll. I mean, there's masses of fabric in this that you'll need. You won't need all of it. Um, and you just cut two and a half inch squares. It's already cut into two and a half inch strips. So... I'll just cut the salvage off and then um, cut a couple of squares. And this is where you can have a bit of fun with your fabrics because you can decide how you want your fabrics to the layout of your fabrics. Because these now sit over that, that's the seam there that we joined the squares together and the fabric sits on top of that on top of that seam like so if i put that one there like that and you can have fun deciding where you want the other fabrics to go oh nice put another green one up there i think and this is where, you know, you can take some time and, and just play with the, with the fabrics and decide how you want them to be. I might just put that one there and have, um, if I cut some more of the pink, I might just have three rows of pink. The one up behind you. Yeah. We really need to get that down and have a good close look at it because that's done in the Lewis and Irene... Um, it was out of the bunnies, it's wasn't the bunny it? The bunny hop, yeah, it's oh. beautiful, pretty. Oh, in fact, fabric. yeah. If we can, we just close up on that, Jane, yeah. because when is when it is appropriate to do so? Well, let's just have a look at those three. 
fabrics because um, they're all the same fabric but in a yeah. different color way and they've got lovely little ditzy flowers and then the little rabbit in them so actually you could work this up into a really beautiful baby blanket yeah it would look lovely as a baby it would be baby blanket. stunning just stunning really pretty fabrics those ones are so once you've decided how you want your fabrics to be you can just pop a pin in I'm changing my mind now. I'm thinking I want the green in the middle. What? You just look at things, don't you? And you just think, actually, no. I love this one with the big flowers on. I think it's really pretty. I've got another square of that somewhere. It's in my hand. <laughs> Sad. <coughs> yeah, quite like that, actually. But you can, you can really have fun playing with it and... Um, moving it around so many different combinations and of course you've got all those colors in there so you could have a different color in each square if you wanted to let's have a little look oh nice so I'm just pinning these in place now just to hold them and now I'm happy with the layout that's just holding them down for now And what, you, what we're going to do next is we're going to just gently pull the fabric from underneath across the top so that it curve, that's what forms the curve around the centre square. There we go, pin those all in place now. Right, so you will take this curved edge now and you just pull it gently into the middle of your patterned fabric just forms a gentle curve you don't want to put it too tight because that's going to end up happening and you're going to get a wobbly layer and you can just pin that down like so and you'll go around and you'll just bring those in and pin them and sometimes your fabric will fold up into it don't worry too much just poke it back down with the pin and it'll go out of the way oh this is going to look beautiful isn't it rather nice isn't it yep and you want the fabrics to come together at the corners there but not really overlap and don't worry if they don't come right together it's fine just try and make sure that you've got none of the wrong side because it it does like to poke itself through so sometimes you just spend a lot of time manipulating that just to make sure it sits underneath and when you're actually sewing it down you can always ease it a little bit more as well but at the moment we're just bringing it in and pinning it just so that it's held down Right, another public service announcement from Gemma. All oh, right. She says she has loaded the fabric kits and instructions for block two of the candy medallion quilt so that if anybody wants to order ready for the show in two weeks' time and sew along with you, Jane, they can, they can oh, do right, so. Oh, right, that's a good idea. Well, you know, we had requests. She's a star. Yes. Now, I said to you that you can do it by hand if you want to. And you can and you just take a little stitch again just start in the corner take a little stitch and hide the knot underneath and it's basically like a plique so like when you're hold, if we go close up like yeah, when yeah, you're yeah. sewing your binding down so you'll take a little stitch into the top go into the back of the fabric and then come up on the edge of your um, curved move that little bit of fabric up and out of the way there because that's going to come under can you so just lift it also there's you can just there see your th that's it we could just see your thumb so it goes across like that and that'll just hold it down and you probably want to move the pin out and just use your thumb to hold the fabric down and it's quite um, nice 
to do it by hand. You know, if you want, if you want, it's the sort of project that you could have down by the side of the settee, and you could just do a few squares each evening, or as I say, have it in the car with you if you've got to take children swimming or drama group or football or whatever you have to. All be the all taxi the after for. school, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, There's nothing to stop you if you don't want all these pins in the middle, because if you're doing it by hand, you could just put a dab of the um, with your glue pen and just dab your fabric down to hold it in place while you sewing it. And if you wanted to stitch it, you'd, it would just stitch. If you want to stitch on your machine, you'd just be stitching through the layers, so you'd be almost quilting. This is the thing, isn't it? It's yeah. almost a quilt in its own right without it needing. There's no extra. You don't need extra layers to it because it, when you think about it, you've got about four or five layers of fabric there. So that's how you would do it if you were hand stitching it, and you just go round all four sides basically, hand stitching it like that, and that gives you a lovely effect and um, you don't get any, any stitching showing on the back. There's nothing showing on the back there. It's completely flat. Right. So, but you can do it with your machine. So with your machine, if I can get your, is your stiletto in, the, in here? It should be on the end, on, on the mm. end pocket. Jane? It isn't. should be on the end pocket. Yeah, it's not there. Oh, you put it somewhere else. You've got, you've got the, this one. Is this? I don't know whose that is. Right. So, this little gadget comes in handy. But also, if you haven't got one of those, your run picker works. So tailors all. Tailors all. Yeah. That's it. Tailors all or a stiletto. That's generally what they are. It just, um, just as you start off in the corner because. As I say, the fabric sometimes wants to poke itself out of the way. A pin or these, and the Inspire, because I've got an Inspire stiletto and it was just brilliant. And they're fabulous. It's so fine. Absolutely it right fabulous. Down. I cannot recommend them enough. Um, so just bring your needle down so you're in the corner. And then you sew it close to the edge. You'll probably want to go quite slowly just because you're having to curve it and hold it and keep the pins out of the way and everything else. But what you can do is you can do continuous lines so you can go from corner to corner or you could stop in the middle there, lift it up and you could go to the next square. Oh, and just go all the way along? And go around. And you could go round there, around there and round. And you can and you can start doing it in, in rows. And in fact, you can just do it in a continuous line, more or less, from one row to the next. Oh, those new liberties are all up and live on the website for pre-order. Uh, oh, they can should you imagine this with the liberties. Oh, it would be stunning oh, with the liberties. Gorgeous. We have got so many beautiful projects coming with those Liberty fabrics. It's very, very exciting. Uh, so that's the Liberty Carnaby collection. So, but if you want to pre-order it and make the most of your free PP, <laughs> your free P and P, then you know do so. Make the most of that because that ends tonight at midnight. Uh, so do make the most of your free P and P. Uh, uh, on orders over 30, wasn't it? That was where that one went to. Yep. Um, and then Gemma has just loaded all of those little two and a half inch charm packs. Do they have a separate name? They do, don't they? And I can't Candy remember what charms, it is. I think they're Candy called. charms, that's it. She's just loaded them with the one and, um, and a quarter metre of fabric. Do you know, it's only coming in at 14.99. Oh, wow, that's really good. It's really good, isn't it? So that's a very inexpensive table runner. And you'll have loads of squares left over. Oh yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. And do you know that you can always get more of the plain fabric from us if that's you want right, to make yeah. more of them? And I'm there's no wadding or backing fabrics, is there? It just no, is what it is. It just takes that. So 
you just have to be very careful in the corners because your fabric under the square sometimes doesn't want to fit and that doesn't matter because you can always go back and just trim it away if it if it won't poke back down and this is why it's probably easier to pin it all first before you then start rolling it because you'll know then if the fabric's misbehaving and you can um, just push it around. You could use your glue pen though, couldn't you? With yes, it? and just hold and it. And baste it in place. Baste it in place. This is going to be so pretty. And then that just hold, just hold it with your stiletto and just while it, you do those first few stitches and then you've got yourself in place to, to do the next few. As I say, you don't want to pull it too tight because you'll start to distort your... just gone off the line there. You'll just start to distort your um, fabric. You want it to still lie as flat as it can. And you can come back then and do this side. So you can do a row at a time or a square at a time. You can leave the side pieces flat like that if you wanted to. I rolled mine. So once you've done all your squares, you can go around the edge and just roll the edges into the middle. Oh, Gemma wants to make placemats for Errol. Oh, for, uh, yes, a vintage that'd be lovely caravan. With the orange. Yeah. Oh, they would look so good. But I remember when they first got that caravan, and Gemma came to me to help her make the curtains. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just sewing a straight line. That's really it. No, 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 it's the cutting. She got herself in such a tiz about having yeah. to cut a large amount of fabric. It's funny, isn't it? And I look, I look now at what she's making. Yes. And gosh, you know. Yeah. From the girl that didn't ever want to cut any kind of fabric. So that's how you do it with your machine. You can bring that edge round and just sew around without any fabric in. If you wanted to have fabric in, you can make yourself a square, fold it over and put that in there. Just slip it in like that. Oh, nice. Oh, I see. So you can do that. If you want to, when you've got your edges folded over and you've pinned them, if you lift them before you pin them so you don't pin them to the backing fabric, mm. before you start sewing, you can slip another piece of fabric. It won't be as big. If I just fold that in half for now, you can slip another piece of fabric into the gap before you sew it down. So you're filling in. Whoa, 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 whoa. So you don't what? have the blank, the blank piece in. So you could have a, a real pop of colour in the gap. Oh wow! I've if you never seen to. that. I've, I've seen people do that before. But you have to just, you know, you'd cut it a little bit thinner than that and you'd, yeah. you'd spend your time just manipulating it to make sure it filled, it filled the gap. But you That's amazing. That. Just go in like in a diagonal, really, I suppose, like that. Lo wants to know if you'd ever put some wadding behind the small um, pattern of uh, the small squares. There's nothing to stop you doing that. You can do that if you wanted to. You can wad it. You can put wadding on the back and then when you're sewing this bit through there, that will proof that bit up and quilt it. If you're not happy with where your joins are here, put a button on it. It looks quite nice with a button on and of course you've got the tilde. We've got the tilde buttons that, tilde that buttons would look rather would look gorgeous. Look rather lovely, wouldn't they, sewn in that gap there. Um, well, not only that, but we've also got, if because um, Ali was just saying how beautiful this would look with cafe. Yes, dark, a dark we've got the cafe buttons and cafe, as well, and we've got you? the cafe buttons, absolutely. And of course you can get the self-cover button so you can cover it with the fabric that you're using. So you might want to cover it with the blue and just have the navy blue button covering it. 
Do I get the, the other one down so you can... Yeah, have let's have a look at that. And I bound the edge of mine, as I said, and I just did the binding method that I normally use, but I didn't do it double thickness. I just did it over like one thickness just because I just wanted it to neaten the edge because obviously you've got points like this mm. that look a little bit uneven or can do. So I thought the binding would just neaten the edge. I mean, it has, it has got a little bit of a ripple because you have to be careful because it's a biased that's a biased edge, so mm. it will stretch. But it just tidied it up. And you can make placemats. I said to Gemma, there's nothing to stop you folding that piece over, putting the squares in that piece, and then you've got, you can slip down the side, start the side, and you've got a cushion. That would make a little cushion cover, wouldn't it? Or a bag, if you did yeah. sew down three sides. So it's quite a versatile piece of of cathedral window and I think that's quite big enough to give you a sample of how to make it without being overwhelming but you might catch the bug and think actually I want to make a quilt with this and just order yourself some more of the backing fabric and just keep going. We always give it the correct name mm. so that you know. Um, Leslie says Jane amazes me every time how she makes something that appears complicated look so easy. Oh bless you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do complicated. Oh, no. No, no, no. Absolutely. But that is gorgeous. And actually, if I just switch back, don't they look so different? Yes. I mean, yeah, I know they're different really, fabrics, but, yeah, but just the, the dark. putting it with the dark, yeah. I mean, even if you did this with the dark, the, the, these colours with the dark, they would look, you would get a different effect. Of course you would. Of course really you would. I just, really I, think it's, I think it's just lovely. Just lovely. Thank you so much, Jane. You're very welcome absolutely stunning um so this isn't the end of our week now is it jane no because you've got another little stitchy witchy person coming I have you like have a twiddle a and a fiddle stitchy witchy <laughs> whirlwind coming She's amazing to twiddle and fiddle all over the place um so for those of you that haven't heard we have got jenny raymond the one and oh, only you'll be in for such a treat she's lovely and she's got a wicked sense of humor she absolutely does so it it's going to be a di bit different to the shows that you would normally see when she's on, you know, like Ho Chandra and things, mm. because there we have to be very professional. Yes. Um, we can be a little bit... Cheeky. I mean, I, 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 yeah. Lo, she gives you a run for your money. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, oh, Lisa says, little question, I'm nearly 50. Will I ever grow into uh, liking hand sewing or do I just have to start? You don't have to do it at all. If you don't like doing it, don't do it. Nobody says you've got to like hand stitching. I have, it does make me laugh because we did have an email in from someone the other day, didn't we, saying, mm. um, I'm stuck on this, I really don't like it, da -da 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 -da. can you help? And my response was, if you don't like it, don't do it. <laughs> And, and you actually helped them. <laughs> yes. I mean, some things, you know, you want to persevere because you want to finish it. But other things, you'll try it and you'll be like, mm, you know what? It's not for me. And that's fine too. You know, we don't all have to like the same things. And what a boring world it would be if we did. And it's absolutely okay. That, yeah. That's the other thing. It's there, fine. We, there might be stitchy witches, but there aren't If you belong please. to a group of, of ladies that... that do patchwork and quilting you'll know that there are ladies that love certain techniques and other ladies that don't like I know a lady that loves making the patchwork but can't abide the quilting so she makes all the quilt tops and they go to the long arm quilter and she's fine with that she doesn't have any ambition at all to quilt her own quilts and that's you know but she loves the patchworking yeah and then there's other ladies that just want to do quilting and they do whole cloth quilts and beautifully as well so we've all got our own little niche and we all combine together to make lovely things. And um, I don't know why we put ourselves under the pressure of yeah. um, I must quilt this this thing that I've created. Mm. If that's not the bit that you enjoy, but no. there is th there is. I, I hear it time and time and time again, and it's like it's like when Stephen said to me the other day, you know, you are so busy. Why don't we just get someone to do the washing? You yeah. know, there are people that do it for a living. Why don't yeah. we just... Because they like doing it. Yeah, and yes. I felt so guilty at the thought of oh, someone no. else doing my... What? what? Um, and he's like, but your time is better spent elsewhere. That's right. Uh, 
but it took me a while to get yes, my head it around does. It. And it and it does take you a while to realize that you don't have to be able to be good at everything or need to be no which means that you actually you end up having a far better life because you only do the stuff you like that's it hurrah and that's you know we're here long enough we just just do things we enjoy <laughs> i'm with you on that i think we should finish on that note because that sounds perfect <laughs> yeah. to me absolutely perfect absolutely um apart from the fact that lo says that she's angelic <laughs> <laughs> gives me the biggest laugh today um <laughs> Fallen angels and all that. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it. Yeah. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. We are back on Friday, 10 a.m. with the infamous uh, Jenny Raymond. Joan, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Um, and it's yeah, a pleasure. Enjoy. Have a nice Thursday, everybody. Enjoy we'll see you Friday. Bye-bye.